Session replays are great if you're looking for one specific issue. But what happens if you want to look at the overall picture of your site? That's where dashboards come in. In Opera Replay, you can create your own custom dashboard with ready-made metrics. We have over 40 for you to pick from. And if that is not enough, you can create your own ones. Custom metrics allow you to zoom in into the application as part of the session replay. We're talking about errors, performance issues, click ratios, current path, and so on. Custom metrics will also let you drill down into them and figure out how many users were affected, what is the latest replay that contains the error, and so on. So you can pinpoint errors and the causes much faster. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a dashboard to understand the status of the homepage of a fake e-commerce site. So let's go. For this example, I'm going to use an e-commerce site that I already tracked on previous occasions. So I'm going to go to the dashboards section from the list of sessions, and then I'm going to create, uh, I'm going to click on the create button. First, double click on the untitled dashboard title and simply enter the name of your dashboard. Here you can also enter the description and make sure to share the dashboard with your team or leave it private. I'm going to leave it shared by default. So the next thing is to start adding metrics. The first kind of metrics I'm going to be adding are the ready-made ones I, because I want to have a general overview of the page before moving into creating my custom ones. You have four types of ready-made metrics to choose from. Errors, performance, resources, and web vitals. They all show different type of information. So make sure you choose the right ones for your case. In my case, I'm using errors by type to understand what kind of errors I get in a general overview of the system and also slower resources to understand what are the resources that are slowing the page load. In my case, and from the errors by type, I know that I have 400 type errors and also a lot of JavaScript errors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a set of custom metrics that will show me more details about them. So the first metric I'm going to create is the 400 type error list. I'm going to use a time series for that. So the time series is going to chart the number of sessions that match certain criteria. In my case, what I want is to plot of the number of sessions that are on the home page and that are sending requests that receive a 400 type of error. I could, I could have gone with table instead, and that would list me information instead of showing me a chart. So I want to use the time series. Funnels, on the other hand, are another different type of metric. They're a bit more complex, so I will leave it for another video. For So for the time series, I'm going to add three steps. One, for making sure that the path where this happens is on the home page. The slash ES is the home page of my site. And then I'm going to add two steps regarding the network request. That is to make sure that the status code for them is between the right range of 400. I'm also going to say change the condition for all of them to from then to and to make sure that it all happened at the same time. And as you can see, at the bottom of the screen, you can see a preview of how that chart is going to look like. Now that it's been added to the dashboard, I can actually drag and drop it and rearrange them however I want. Now for the second metric, I want to list all JavaScript errors because I know I have plenty of them. So I'm going to create a new custom metric, but instead of using a time series this time, I'm going to use a table because I can pick from a different uh, set of preset lists. And in my case, that is going to be JavaScript errors. I still have to add a step to make sure that they happen on the home page. So again, I'm going to filter by path to make sure that is slash ES. And that will show me a preview of how that will look. Creating it uh, automatically adds the widgets to my dashboard. And so I have the list here. Now I'm going to add one more type of uh, widget to understand when and why my users are click racing throughout the home page. So I'm going to uh, again create a time series, but instead of looking for errors, I'm going to make sure that they happen at the home page again using the path, but then I'm going to filter by issue. And as you can see, you have the set of predefined issues already listed here, and I'm going to pick click rage. 
for my case. This works exactly like the previous widget I created and it will let me plot all that information. Now the extra benefit of using custom metrics here is that they allow you to click on them and drill down on the details. Here I'm going to click on the 400 type error widget and I'm going to see a detail of the sessions that match my criteria. Not only that, but if I click on that one specific date, I can actually filter by date and I can directly watch those sessions and understand where the errors happened. Same goes for the JavaScript widget. I can click on them, for instance, on the first one, there is an undefined logger variable and it'll tell me how many users were affected and how many sessions were affected. I can even watch the last session replay affected by it and using the x-ray feature, I can even pinpoint directly where the error is happening. I know it's at the end of the of the replay and I have all the details there, even I can see the error on screen. Finally, if I go back to the dashboard, I can do the same thing for the click rate and it will tell me by clicking on specific date, it will show me the matching sessions and I can play them and understand where they happen. Again, with the X-ray feature, filtering by click rate, I can see where those instances happen. And that's all there is to dashboards. Remember, we have over 40 ready-made metrics for you to pick from and you can create your own custom ones. In fact, we encourage you to do so because custom metrics will let you drill down into them and find the problematic sections much faster. There are different types of custom metrics that you can choose from. You have time series, which is a chart of the number of sessions that match certain criteria, tables, which simply will list information on screen, and finance, which allow you to understand how many users you lose from one step inside your application to the next, and the potential causes for those problems. If you have any issues with dashboards or custom metrics, don't hesitate to contact us on our Slack channel with the link in the description, and we'll be more than happy to help you. Until then, see you in the next one.